to you girls about dental x-rays and what they mean when we're doing all these wonderful x-rays. So this is a picture of a happy, healthy mouth. Um, what we're looking for on here is we've got a nice crisp little black line around the edges of these roots. We're looking for that nice little line. We're also looking for a healthy um, middle to the root here where the pulp cavity lies. We're looking at the bone density. We're making sure there's not um, holes in the bone that can indicate lots of different things, but cancer being one of them. Um, and we're looking for how far up the bone travels to the edge of uh, where it should be on the crown of the tooth, um, among other things, but that's the main stuff. So this one, the teeth here are really crowded. They're overlapping. Um, there's kind of some speckly pattern to this bone here, which probably in this case indicates infection. Um, there's also the bone should come all the way up to the neck here and it's been um, eaten away. Probably tartar has eaten it away and pushed it down. Um, especially here you can see the bone is all the way down here. It should be here and it's all the way down here. So that's likely from periodontal disease. Is that what they call gingivitis? Then? Uh, gingivitis is an inflammation of the gums that can result from periodontal disease, but it's not always 100% from periodontal disease. Okay. So, um, this is a patient that had severe um, forals that the crowns of the teeth actually fell off and the roots are being resorbed. We know they're being resorbed because there's that line. Can I go back? Mm -hmm. So, um, there's this nice line around here, and this line is the periodontal ligament. Um, it's where the tooth is being held into the socket of the bone. And in this one, there is no line anymore. The periodontal ligament is gone. So these roots are actually being resorbed back up into the body. Um, this x-ray also shows um, this tooth. The edge is all really uh, kind of lumpy bumpy, and you can't see the pulp cavity anymore. Um, the bone all through here has a lot of kind of a Swiss cheese effect. Um, this crown is only hanging on by a little thread. Although this x-ray is pretty dark, so there could be more of an attachment here. This x-ray needs to be taken again at a little bit of a lighter KVP. Uh, so this root has a big fat abscess around it. So um, see this nice periodontal ligament right here, this nice thin line? Mm -hmm. That is totally gone here, and there's just this big black hole. And um, externally, when we looked at this dog, there was pus coming out because this is a big pocket of pus. Um, so this is a good picture for the receding gum line. So the gum line should be up to the little neck, and it's way, way down, down. And so that's usually in dogs from periodontal disease and cats from florals. Um, what are florals? So florals, F O R L S. Um, feline odontoclastic resorptive, resorptive lesions. Um, so, there's not a lot understood about florals, but here's what we do know. So, when we're born, our bones and our teeth are not the same cells from the moment we're born to the moment we die. Through time, those cells are being constantly renewed and replaced. So that process is done by, in our bones and our teeth, by cells in, in the teeth called odontoclasts and odontoblasts. The clasts are the cells that eat up the teeth. The blasts are the cells that lay down the teeth. So in resorptive lesions, the clasts are overactive. They're, they're too active more than the blasts are. So the tooth is getting eaten up but it's not being replaced. It's not a bacterial infection, um, like with a cavity in humans. It is a non-bacterial event. So what are the causes? That's what nobody really understands. Is it genetic? Is it a problem in the food? Is it a virus? I lean towards virus, but nobody really knows for sure yet. Because the reason I say that, I don't, you know, a lot of people worry about food, but it's been shown repeatedly that it's in the wild population of animals as well. Interesting. At like epidemic proportions in a study in 07. So, I mean, they're not eating cat food, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. there's some 
thing, but also these animals are getting it really, really young. Some of these animals are like three, showing full mouth with florals and stomatitis and all these. And it could even be an autoimmune disease. No one really knows for sure what the cause is, but basically what happens is the teeth are being eaten away by the animal's mm. own cells for an unknown wow. reason. But it causes severe pain. So this is a big hole where the class ate up all of the tooth and the blast didn't lay it back down. How does it look from the outside, just oh, visible eye? It's the main cause of gingivitis in cats. It's just like a big red line along the edge there where it's not usually a lot of tartar. So like mm -hmm. when you open up a dog's mouth and it stinks and it's got green and yellow goo all over. A lot of times when you open up cat's mouths, you don't really see that. You just see a really bright red line at the at the boundary, at this little spot right where the, where the gums meet the teeth. Mm -hmm. And that's sometimes all you see. In this case, with this big old hole, probably you'd see the gums climbing up. So when there's a hole on the tooth and it's open and raw, mm -hmm. a lot of times the gums try to cover it so it doesn't hurt as much, and I'm sure there's other reasons, but um, so you see that creeping up of the gums. So there's creeping down when there's infection, because the infection is eating it down. But in the case of resorptive lesions, a lot of times it's going up to try to cover up the hole. Interesting. So do these teeth just have to be pulled? Yeah, so? there's nothing else to do. They have to pull them. So this was the animal where the, the root, the, the tooth was not visible at all. Um, the only way we would have seen this was on x-ray. We wouldn't have known that was there. But that's, so, you know, on the outside you just saw regular gums. It wasn't even red, it wasn't raw, nothing. Couldn't tell where it was. And does that always need to be removed too? Yeah. yeah. Well, I sh yes and no. Like for instance, on this one, because uh -huh. these roots are being resorbed, the body is getting rid of it and we don't need to get down in there and make a mess of that. Um, oh, okay. But this one, the reason I know it's not being resorbed is because that line is still there. Uh -huh. That periodontal ligament is still actually there. So when it's not being resorbed, it's a really important site for infection and pain. And then we got to remove it. So it's the importance of taking dental x-rays versus just going by what you see on the outside. Yeah. They're doing dentistry without x-rays is sort of doing dentistry blind. It's, it's now that I have x-rays compared to back in the day when we didn't have them at all, um, I can't believe we did the dentistry, <laughs> honestly. Like there's just probably a half the story is under the gum line. I don't, I don't, it, sometimes even less is above the gum line. Is there a reason why some resort, some roots will resort and some won't? Like that one versus the other one? And I, yes, and there's probably somebody that can explain that better, but from what I understand, there's a lot of not known about that, but in certain cases where the blood <laughs> supply has been disturbed, that can alter whether it's resorbed or not. Um, but I don't, I don't know the full details, and I'm not sure if anyone knows the full details on why some resorb and some don't. Okay. But this has a hole being eaten out right there. That's a nasty looking one. A lot of them though are not nearly that obvious. The more subtle ones, um, like today, was just. Um, Basically, it looked like a normal tooth, but there was just a little dark area right here. And so then you combine the x-rays with what you feel and see in person in the animal's actual mouth to figure out if there's a floral there. Because not all of them are obvious, like with a big old hole taken out of it. Mm -hmm. um, so you just kind of have to put the puzzle pieces together when they're really subtle. Okay. Now we're ready. Awesome. More questions?